Hi folks, I meant to do this a few days ago and I thought it was um, really important this is brought up because a boxer was cleared of sexual assault charges for using the word pet. Now I don't know anything about boxing so I've never heard of him before. Um, but I know that it's customary for where he is to use the word pet as a, a nice, what people say to each other. Um, I presume that's where it comes into the title. I'll read the same pet, but I'm not sure. In Yorkshire, or various parts of it, love is standard. If you know, It's very common to hear people say love to each other. Now, my understanding is some businesses have tried to ban this, which I think is appalling. But if you go around Yorkshire, you will hear people use it. They'll say love. It's not sexist. It's not sexual assault. Now... The important part of this is it makes you realise that it was charged with, a, I don't know the full thing, but it sounds like sexual assault. Now the thing is, a lot of people may, it, if you was um, the average person who's not got a lot of money, I suspect you'd be encouraged to just plead guilty rather than fight it, because to fight it, you may be, it might be put to you that you'll do time in prison or something serious will happen. Well, they'll probably say, look, and this happened to somebody I know, they was told, plead guilty, and you'll just go on the sex register for, I think it was three years, or was it five? It was either five or three years. You won't do any time, that's it. Bish, bash, bosh. Or you probably go to prison. Now, you know, why would you, most people who don't have a lot of money will accept that, and this is something we have to remember. One of the problems with the British justice is, unless you've got a lot of money, you can't always afford to fight such cases. And, you know, your lawyer, that was probably presented by the, you know, may, you know, one of these um, that the state provides, or however it works, may not want to be bothered about doing too much work, and, you know, because I think they get paid the same regardless, so they're not going to want to spend money and time fighting you, I would have argued. And so I think you'd be encouraged to plead guilty. Because after all, if you've, you know, if you've been told, look, plead guilty, you might have to go on the register, but that's it. And I think a lot of people actually probably, other crimes, I suspect people be encouraged to plead guilty, even if they're not guilty, they'll just be told, look, you'll just get a caution, it ain't going to affect you, walk away. And therefore people then, and it, it occurs to me, I think people do. There'll be people in this country who have criminal records or cautions who actually may be innocent. But they've got no option because the alternative is possibly prison. And indeed, I mean, you know, I, I say love, not as often as some people do, but if I was in that position and I don't have a top-end lawyer, would I risk going to court when I'm being told, look, if you're found guilty, you're going to go to prison? Or the alternative, just accept a, you know, a telling off and be on the register for a few years. But the trouble is that is if you've got someone in the press, your face could then go into the papers and people think the worst. You know, if you've been convicted of sexual assault or something, people may think you're a ter you know. You've done something serious and you may end up with your house burnt down or some moron stabbing you as you're walking in the streets. These are these are possibilities. Um, and forever, you know, you'll be labelled a pervert and stuff by people. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's worth noting because I do wonder why it went to court. And it, it's disturbing. Why, you know, I, I, think, I think this is a quite quite a disturbing case because I wonder if anybody who took him to court actually believed he was guilty of anything did the police really truly believe pet is some sexual assault or I'll say if I said love or anything and even if even if you, you know I mean should people have the right to use vocabulary they choose just because society says pet or love is sexist I don't agree to that who who's agreed to that? Just because somebody, some twit in the council meeting, 
who wants to make a name for themselves has decided that sexist we all have to go along with it appalling anyway it's just a thought i think it's worth noting because you know again sometimes you'll hear people have been you know pleading guilty to sexual assault maybe things like this and i i have to you know don't presume always they are guilty they may have no other option like i've said if they haven't got a lot of money the you know a lot of people will fear going to prison um in fact it happened to me with them i had a pen knife i i, I say it openly I was at a protest, I had a, a pen knife that locks. Now, I didn't know it was illegal, but apparently they are, even though it was only like um, a few millimetres long. The fact it locks makes it illegal. And in fact, the solicitor I spoke to about it didn't even realise they were illegal. And I was advised, just take the caution, which I did. I mean, now I realise I should have gone to, because so few people are prosecuted or go to prison. But, you know, that when you're facing the possibility of five years or, you know, just take a caution, what do you do? Well, I mean, I used it just to open up, uh, at the time, DV tapes, which I think would have legit, it was a legitimate reason. I was using it for work. And I believe, my understanding is, I might be wrong on this, if you've got a legit reason, then that's fine. Which I think I did have a legit reason, but why would I risk going to prison? Now, I'm open about it. I have a criminal... Well, it's a caution, should I say. That's. Uh, I don't know if you class that... A lot of people don't class it as a criminal conviction. But I'm open about that, folks. Because, you know, why should I be ashamed? Um, I was at a protest. And it was... Um, it was at... You know, it was at Drax Power Station. I tell people this openly. I was, I was filming it. As you know, I film things. And the police came at the time. I don't know if the law's still there, but um, I think it was Labour who brought it in. They had these laws where they could prevent you filming. I'm not sure if they're still in the books. I'd be interested. But, they, you know, the police saw me with a camera and, and they said, right, we're searching. And I think it was in the car, actually. I don't think it was on me. I think they searched the car and found it there. And I can't even remember I had it. It was just there for tapes. Um, I had quite a few tools on me that day, actually, because I just, um, I was given them, actually. Anyway, um, they were often rusted, to be honest. But anyway, so, you know, I was, um, this, it was suggested to me, just plead guilty and you'll walk. You won't get, you know, I mean, that's what the police said. That was just, look, you can either take the caution and we won't take it any further. And so that's what I did, folks. And that's why I I think it's important, this. It's it's what irritates me about British justice, because I don't think that is British justice. Because I think, um, you know, I don't think the police thought I was a danger. And in this case, I suspect nobody, you know, I don't suppose anybody believed this guy was a, a potential whatever sexual assault or just for using the word pet but you know it made you know it, it's it's is it done because well i don't know i mean it's just a numbers game isn't it because one of my problems is i believe happened with labor is that they changed everything you, the two things they did legally was one they um made it so that the, it used to be um, if to join the police you had to be a certain size and all this so it was elitist and then they just allowed anyone in which I think has caused more problems than anything and the second one was the end this numbers game where police had to publish numbers of you know charges and stuff so to bump it up they just go after easy targets and that's why I don't think they bother with burglaries anymore <clears throat> oh, sorry, a little cough there. And I think unless, until they stop um, having to publish, publish chart, you know, arrests and stuff, I think they'll just carry on doing these crimes that bump up the figures where they hope a lot of people will plead guilty rather than do things like burglaries and things where the rate will be much lower. 
but there you go folks i mean like i said i think you know i like to be honest with guys there's no point me lying i got a caution years ago i think it was about you know you can google it so when there was drax power station demonstrations i went to film it and i noticed actually and you know the when i got home on the internet it said somebody had been arrested for a weapon which you know i thought that was a bit slimy because it's tried to suggest that um that you know somebody was arrested for having something serious like a gun when it wasn't it was just a um a tiny little pocket knife but it locked it'd have been legal if it hadn't locked my understanding it was that small it wouldn't have affected um but yeah it's i always think these things need discussing folks all right then bye